Welcome to Royals at the Ranch. I'm Lori, a certified professional animal trainer and behaviorist. Join me as I explore the behavior, temperament, and trainability of Python Regis. As this journey progresses, I'll also talk about cooperative care, choice-based handling, enrichment opportunities, and welfare to ensure we're providing the best lives possible for our Royal Pythons, both in our homes and under human management in general. Hello and welcome to episode one of Royals at the Ranch, the series that focuses on the behavior, temperament, and trainability of Python Regis, also known as Royal Pythons. I'm Lori, and since this is our inaugural episode of the series, it's our very first one, and some of you may be joining the series as first-time viewers of the channel because you're interested just in the topic of Royal Pythons. Some of you may be returning to the channel and some of you may be regular viewers, but I'm going to go ahead and start by telling you a little bit about me in case this is your first time tuning into the channel or in case you don't know some of these details about me. And then after that, I'm gonna talk about how this series is gonna progress after this first episode. Again, my name is Lori. I am a professional animal caretaker, behaviorist, and trainer. I have an Associate of Applied Science degree in zookeeping technology, and I am a certified animal trainer through CCPDT and Fear Free Pets. I also have a certificate in applied animal behavior from the University of Washington. I've completed two of Dr. Susan Friedman's eight week long professional development courses, Living and Learning with Animals and How Research Works. I also completed the six day animal training applications in zoos and aquariums professional development course through the Association of Zoos and Aquariums. And I did that in 2019 at the Denver Zoo, which is actually not too far from our ranch here. I have worked with many species of animals over the years, not only in the fields of animal care, training and behavior, but also as a veterinary assistant and as an animal emergency responder. In 2017, I became interested in adding snakes to my family. And in early 2018, I started focusing specifically on the behavior and training of snakes. I'm working with about 20 different species of snakes right now with my primary interest and love being pythons and specifically Australian pythons, like those from the genus Morelia. Those are things like carpet pythons, brettles pythons, and rough scale pythons. As well as those from the genus Anteresia, which includes the children's pythons. Okay, so now you're probably all wondering why in the heck am I doing a series about Python Regis, a species of Python from Africa, not even from the same continent as the pythons I just told you that I really love and work with? Well, that's actually where our series needs to start with the story of how I came to be where I am now, which is training and doing behavioral observations of royal pythons here. I have three ongoing behavioral observation projects going on with the Python Regis that we have right now. And all of them are also being target trained. The stories behind all three of these projects, as well as the training of each of the snakes is going to be part of the ongoing series. What are the projects? 
I'll give you a clue right now. One is an enclosure preference test. One is on reducing stress during transitions, such as moving from a rack system to an environmentally complex habitat. And one is an acclimation and keeping study based on animals intended to be pets. You saw our study subjects in the beginning credits, and you're going to get to know each of them and their stories during the series on an individual basis. I'm doing this not only to gain a better understanding of the species for myself, but to share that information and knowledge with all of you, specifically in regard to behavior and training of this species, Python Regis, work which is generally lacking in the reptile community as a whole, and especially when it comes to snakes. There is already ample content available out there to the public about breeding, basic keeping, morphs, colors, patterns, and the genetics of royal pythons. I care about that, but only in a superficial way. I care about their individual personalities and temperament. I approach my work with them as I approach it with all of the species of animals that I interact with. And that includes dogs, horses, pigs, goats, other small mammals, and other reptiles. I approach it from the perspective and from the knowledge base of a trainer and behaviorist. Those are the aspects of the lives of Python Regis you can expect from this production. Behavior, body language, temperament, personality, trainability, and how to best care for them and their behavioral health as individuals. I'm going to leave you now with a few samples of segments you can expect to see moving forward. You may not see each of these segments in every episode, but these are segments you can expect to see over the course of all the episodes in the series, along with the stories of the research projects and the individual animals. I plan to keep the episodes around 10 minutes long, but some may be a little shorter or a little longer depending on where the natural breaking points are in the story or in the topic for that week. Each week is gonna include a piece of the story. That may be the story of the research project or the individual animal. And each episode will contain a tidbit of educational information on one of the topics you're about to preview. So enjoy the following information. Again, these are just a preview of topics you will see in the future. And next week, we're going to start with the story of how and why I decided to begin behavior projects with Royal Pythons. Your glimpse into Royal Python body language starts with this handy chart, which you're going to want to keep around. This chart is for snake body language in general, and in future episodes, we're going to pick out the things on this chart that are relevant specifically to Python Regis. But the default distress or fear behavior for Royal Pythons is to freeze or hide. And that is demonstrated very well in this example here of a very frightened snake who is balled up and hiding their face. Now we're gonna take a look at this very same snake a few weeks later, he's now very comfortable and relaxed and actually demonstrating curiosity. This is one of our royals, Fulcrum. He's exhibiting very relaxed and comfortable behavior in this video. He's got an outstretched body posture, loosely draped around me. He's moving forward, he's tongue flicking. And then this is the same snake sometime later. He's now frightened, he's nervous, and he's distressed. He is tightly anchored around me. He's balled up and he's attempting to hide his head in my hand or in his coils. So we stopped the session and went inside. Choice-based handling means instead of intruding into the snake's space and forcing them to come out, that you offer them the opportunity to come out on their own and they can choose to do that or not. I touch Fulcrum here just to let him know that the door is opened and he has an opportunity to come out of the enclosure if he chooses. He had only been with us two months when this was filmed 
and it was actually the first time that he ever chose to come out of his enclosure on his own. And after he did that, he spent a couple of hours on this exercise space that's adjacent to his enclosure. And it was a very positive experience for him. And hopefully he formed some pleasurable associations with this. Now here's your glimpse into Royal Python training. I am starting a moon and Aminette, um, the two first Royal Pythons that we added here with target training. And right now I'm just asking them to orient towards the target and then they're earning reinforcement. And this is a foundation behavior that once they learn, we can do many, many, many other things with. This series is brought to you by Behavior Education at Spirit Keeper Equine Sanctuary, and we want you to do more than just watch. You can actively participate in this program by contributing stories, photos, and videos of Royal Pythons in your homes for us to share at the end of each episode. you soon and until next time everybody please remember to be kind and love your animals